What's going on, beautiful people? D-Lo Brands back for another video. And today we are dep we are stepping back into the world of Google. They have had many updates this week that I'm happy to share with you. So let's jump right in. So first up, we have an update that I am probably most excited about. Imagine, if you've ever heard of the Imagine models or basically the image model that Google uses for its um, uh, generations, it's called the Imagine. And what we have been using in the past is Imagine 3, Imagine 2, you know, things of that nature. But now we have Imagine 4. Yes, Imagine 4 is out and it is literally cutting edge. It is some of the best generations that I have seen from image models. These are things that you can utilize in any aspect and you wouldn't know, oh, that's an AI image, even something like this. I mean, this is an actual film picture. That's that's crazy. And along with the Imagine 3 model, Google has also released updates for VO, so VO3, and more things like Whisk, which are in the uh, Google DeepMind or the Google um, kind of test kitchen ecosystem. And so, we are now seeing that it is catching up to ChatGPT with the use of um, typography and spelling so that, you know, you can create images that are on brand for your business. You can create images that say whatever you want to and they will look the appropriate way. It's giving you demos about the different art styles that you can use. And imagine for I'm most excited about it because Google has been the thing that I've been using for the past month just consecutively. Google is my preferred platform, uh, whether it be Gemini models, whether it be image.fx or any of the sort. I just prefer Google and Gemini and uh, Imagine. But they're giving us a lot in this, but let's see exactly what is new. So they have an ultra fast option coming soon for Imagine 4 that is going to speed up generations. I think that is already fast, but I mean, 30 seconds compared to five seconds, people are, are getting very impatient now that we see the capabilities of these models. And so it can realize your vision. So way more creative, enhanced colors, styles and details and exceptional clarity. So we're going to see exactly what using Imagine is going to be like. And let's get right in. So I did have Gemini to give me four prompts about images of images that we can get generated with the new Imagine 4 model. So all I'm going to do is create, I mean, copy this and paste it into Gemini 2.5 Flash. So make sure that you have 2.5 Flash or 2.5 Pro selected, which are the only two models right now. And you can just type in the prompt. You don't have to click anything down here that says create image or anything right there. All you do is paste it. You say create a wide shot and it'll know to create an image. So we're going to paste this first one in here. And this prompt is very detailed. And all I did was utilize the sample prompt that they gave us here. So this prompt right here, I actually generated. And all I said was Gemini, keep this same detailed format of image prompt and give me four different ones. So that's all I did. And so we're going to input this first one and it is actually pretty fast. I would say this is about a 15, 20 second process. Uh, well, I'm going to actually keep this real time so you guys can see how fast it is. But these generations, see how fast that is? That was, you know, less than... 20 seconds. So very high quality image. I mean, <laughs> you zoom in, you, you might can upscale it. You may be able to just upscale it one time and you'll be perfectly fine. But this is what our prompt was a wide shot, cinematic, hyper realistic, rain slicked, neon drenched, <laughs> futuristic cityscape. Okay. A middle-aged man with a weather face and a cybernetic left eye, left eye. So this is the left eye. Um, that glows faintly blue, it's glowing, standing under a flickering holographic advertisement, the advertisement is right there, smoking revolver, it's metallic glint, catching the reflection of nearby data stream, okay, <laughs> it didn't get that part, but looking at this image, this is a very comprehensive image, 
I can see if a company wanted to use this for marketing for a movie or anything of the sort, they can use this. But let's use one of the other prompts that I put and this in this one is of a fantasy creature. So a close up and we got it. So boom. I mean, like what 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 more can I say? It is capturing everything that we're looking for. Let me see the scales. Um, delicate, translucent wings, like those of a dragonfly, subtle shift color, large, expressive golden eyes. Okay. I like it. I mean, it's a great generation. And what you can do is go to something like Envato image edit, and you can just upload the image here. Let's just say it wasn't big enough for us. And right now it's sized at... They said up to 2K. Right now it's sized at 2K by 2K. So let's upscale this by 2X. Upscale it. And this is what we get. So it is a little bit more clear than, you know, what we came in with. You see that? it It's, it's more clear, but it's not so much more clear where I would call it an upscale, if I'm being honest. Like it's... It's not that it's not that much upscale, but it is more detail for sure. And so you can download this, use it wherever you like. Let's go to the third prompt, a historical grandeur interior shot. OK, let's put this in here, produce a wide angle shot, historically accurate and richly detailed of an opulent Baroque era ballroom during a grand masquerade ball. Okay, so this is maybe no people in it. Dancing shadows. Let me see. Oh, a lot of people in it. Okay, wow. The focus is on the sheer scale and intricate decor. This is using some pretty interesting language, but this is the scene. Um, I like the image. I can see, you know, a discrepancy right here. And we can even ask Gemini, what imagine model are you using to create this? And it will say, I use a Google Develop image generation model. Which one? I can generate images for you, but I cannot disclose the, the specific model name I am using. So I actually <laughs> asked it yesterday. I said, what model did you use to create that? I used the Google Imagine model to create that. Which Imagine model? It said, I use the Google Imagine model which at this time is Imagine 3, and with recent updates, now Imagine 4 as well. So I'm guessing it's interchanging between the two or something of that sort. I'm not sure. But we are getting some pretty nice generations. And I think that we're getting to the point where image generations are getting so good that improvements in the models aren't necessarily in capturing detail or getting the right aesthetic look, but more the customizability of the platforms we're using to create these images. So we're going to create one more image, a microscopic world. I like that. A microscopic world. And instead of being in Gemini Flash, let's start a new chat, go to Gemini Pro and, and put this, see if it's something different. So let's click enter. It is going to go ahead. Okay. So Gemini 2.5 Pro has to think before it, it does stuff. So it's preparing the image generation tool to handle this complex re request. And I'm sure that the image generation tool is using Imagine 4 now, but let's see. Okay, a microscopic world. A macro shot of a microscopic ecosystem thriving on the surface of a single dewdrop. Wow, wow, okay. This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. It has the surfacition of the dewdrop distorts and magnifies these elements. Wow. It is, it's actually, you know, capturing these different aspects of the image that we want. It's magnifying. It has blur around the edges. It has distortion around it. It's capturing the HDR environment around it. It is, I really, really like these generations. And I think that if you are a user of Google, which I pay for Google, but even with the free version, I'm sure you have some type of quota. I would be using this instead of a, a mid journey. I mean, 
I haven't been on Mid Journey in months, if I'm being honest. I used to use Mid Journey consecutively for literally everything, but now since we have other models that are able to be better or easier to use than Mid Journey, I just like these better. But that is it for today's video. If you did learn something, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and consider sharing this video with a friend. These image generations are only going to get better. And so if you have anything that you need extra images for, or maybe you want to have a photo shoot, but you can't really do that right now, you can go to a platform like Gemini and get your images created and utilize other tools to edit it or upscale it or change things, whatever you want. And we'll be back with, with more. I mean, we got to check out ChatGPT. We have to check out Mid Journey. So definitely keeping those in mind. Comment your favorite part of this video and even some prompting tips that you have for us all to share. But this has been DLo Brands and I will see you in the next one. Peace.